We're here in New York. I get a lot of my inspiration through traveling. So we're gonna check out a friend of mine, Jose Luis Chavez, doing some ceviches right here at M Mission Ceviche. We're actually in a food hall right here in New York. Love coming to these places like this. You can get a slice of pizza. You can get a nice Korean barbecue. And now we're gonna go tra tra try some ceviche. We're gonna try this great chef, Jose Luis Chavez, up and coming new chef, young talent, creating one of his creations about ceviche. He's got great ceviche, everything. He keeps it fresh. So we're gonna go on and take a look at him, what he does best, cooking. Let's do one of the most popular ceviches that we have right now, is the sh uh, shrimp. It's a mix up with the shrimp. We use some octopus. We're also gonna add some tuna, ahi tuna. And then we use some flounder. It's a beautiful white fish. We're gonna go with the salt. Very generous with the salt. You use kosher salt, you use kosher, kosher, salt. kosher salt. And then we're going with the ahi uh, red habanero. Actually, it's a cousin of the ahi limo. And then we're gonna use a rocotto paste. Spicy. Is there, is there a secret recipe this rocotto paste? Actually, it's just a rocotto. We just clean it and boil it two times in water. So that way we can lose the spiciness and still get the beautiful flavor. The rocotto remind me the flavor of the cevicherias in the market in Peru. So this is our tiger milk. It's actually a real milk. It's called leche de tigre. Leche de tigre. Real milk, has uh, some uh, ginger, celery, garlic, cilantro, and some pieces of the fish inside. And then we're gonna go with the lime. So that's pretty much um, the shrimp and the octopus that are cooked already. Perfect. Perfect. We got the, uh, the pepper. Spicy, right? Yeah. Oh, so good. All right, so then. So what are your thoughts about all the chefs? They say they don't use raw onions. They, they, they're all against raw onions on top of their food. I, I can love say it. for me, raw onions with the freshness of the leche de tigre is way different. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you get a lot of heat. In my restaurant, I get a lot of heat. I say, why would you mix raw onions with the, with the, with the fish? The, the customer of, of caramelizing the onions. But you haven't tasted the peppers. What makes the Peruvian cuisine is the peppers. And his, in his case, is the, the, the rocotto pepper mixed up with the onions. So actually, if you see the ceviche, it's a very simple dish. You know, it's, you see, we did it in two minutes. Some lime, some pepper, some fish. But they have a reason why, for me, in my case. So the onions, in that case, we keep it cut it in water, keep it cold, and we put it up top. So that way, you get the first bite, you feel the crunchy and explosion of the, um, the onions, for me, in this case. Okay. So, let's plate it up, what do you So let's go to the plate. Then we're gonna go with the sweet potato. Yes, we did a little glaze with orange juice and some cinnamon, just to give it a little extra flavor. And also it's a uh, nice presentation, it's easier to uh, to use for presentation. And then, there we go. Bon appetit, guys. My man, it's a great ceviche. <laughs> Thank you for having me here. Thank you. The man. Thank you so Thank much. You. So, here is to Mission Ceviche. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Gracias, papa. I mean, you can't get better than this. You have some great ceviche. You got a mix of tuna. You got some corvina. You get a, the crunchiness of the, uh, the cancha. Some sweet potatoes, got a little orange peel to it. And this we got some choclo. So, I mean, New York mm, has the best food in the US. I get a lot of my inspiration, like I said, from these dishes. I usually go back home, I go back to a restaurant, kind of do it my way, flipping around. How can I use the sweet potato? How can I use the cancha and coming up with my own dish? Jose Luis does a great job of recreating this dish. Usually in Peru, you get a boiled potato, but in this case, he pureed the potato, put a little orange peel. It tastes way different than a traditional ceviche. So please come on down to Mission Ceviche and give Jose Luis a try.